Hi everybody, Logan Jr. Chef here, and I'm with my good friend Stuart Edge. You know it. And we are going to be showing how to go even deeper into these pizzas. Yeah. So right now we're starting with the Legends classic Legends, pizza. Logan, Edge, yeah. Legends. Yeah, the play on words there. To start cooking this, it starts with searing the filet, but I like to start with first searing up some bacon. Yeah. So you want to put the bacon in your hot pan and just kind of let it sizzle. It'll start releasing its fat, and that's really delicious. And that's kind of the base for the start of this. This is like, this could be one of the more hearty pizzas. It's a little bit more pricey, like all these ingredients are about $10, yeah. right, extra, mm -hmm. but it can really make the pizza taste so much more better, like $30, yeah. $40 more. Yeah, right? it really starts, really, you get a lot more bang for your buck with this one. Yeah. And especially when you get this big old filet, you oh, can use look like, at that. like massive filet. Look at that. I thing. mean, you can use this on like three pizzas worth. Now we've got our bacon going, we can kind of put in our filet. Mm -hmm. Sear it up, you know, oh. kind of be one oh. with it, let it in there. This is taking me to another place, yep. just hearing that. So w when we were making the other video, people loved this pizza. Yeah, this was, this was by far their favorite pizza. Why do you think that is? I think it's because it really brings them back to like a steakhouse style flavor. And it has such oh. a, a very like simple yet elegant flavor profile of your words, meat, your mushrooms. Your words are tickling my ears. It's just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just got such a classic flavor profile. Yeah. And I've got a, a couple other others. Because when I dressed all these pizzas, I really thought of flavor profiles. Yeah. And like right here, you've got buffalo blue cheese. Mm -hmm. You can top a pizza with this. I mean, of course, you want to take the meat off wings. And yeah. Actually. Or I mean, you could always take it to more like an Asian style. But making sure that all of your elements have a con cohesive flavor. Yeah, I'm just amazed at how simple all these ingredients are. You can take a simple $5 pizza and just add some simple ingredients, yet those things combined make it taste so amazing. How do you know which things pair together well? You know, that's, that's kind of being a chef. Okay. And when you're a chef, you can kind of fit your flavor profiles together. Like some of the more challenging ones I have over here is like this pear brie. You took cheese bread yep, that you would is, find just at bread. a mm -hmm. regular delivery, delivery place yeah. and added brie, brie, brie and, pear. and pear. Yeah. And now it looks like it's something you'd find in like a hundred dollar plate restaurant. Yeah, definitely. It's just taking these like really interesting ingredients and like adding them and taking them in totally different directions. Wow. Like, like buffalo blue cheese, I mean, that's very simple. Everyone yeah. knows it. And like these steakhouse flavors, I mean, yeah. everyone knows them. But when you start getting into these like brie and pear, fig and mozzarella, pine nuts, fresh basil, yeah. when you start getting into herbs and things, that's when you start really blowing your guests away. Yeah. Do you ever make mistakes? Like it's you chef. make you make a pear and it's just like, um, whoa! You know, you you have to be careful with making a pear. You have to try it first. It's so like right here, everyone knows that this pear works. Yeah. I mean, you can pretty much easily tell this pear works. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can take a piece of brie in the, in the pear and try it, and yeah. it'll, it'll work. Yeah, so you really just need to try them, figure out what works, I mean, just really taste it. It's almost like you just have to try, yeah, because just, you can't be afraid. All the ingredients are out there. It's not like you've invented some new plant or anything. <laughs> no. You're just trying You're just trying things. to creatively figure out what you like. Yeah. So now, back, back to- Back to this uh, amazing to our, Legends. Bistro, no, Legends uh, uh, Artisan, Legends Artisan Pizzeria. It's right there. Uh, this, as you see on the sign. Yeah. This is our signature. I have not really cooked it all the way through. Okay. Because I want to keep it kind of raw-ish okay. because I'm cooking it again. Because oh. I'm slicing it onto, putting it on the pizza. Oh, and then, and then you're going to be baking it that way. I'll be baking it. Got it. So let's start assembling this pizza. Okay. We're going to take our cheese first and you want to go Get real good coverage on this cheese. I mean, you, you, want, you want good coverage. In, in the other video, you were talking about how you just gotta like... Ah. Yeah, yeah, really go for it. So now I'm gonna take some bacon because this is, I'm doing a different rendition, slightly okay. different. Okay. Some of the things about cooking, it's all about just what flavors you like. This one was not on the one that we made originally. Mm, I hear, I hear cause it's, you never do the same cook twice. I never do the same kinda thing twice. Not like magicians twice. never do the same trick yeah, twice. Kinda. All right, so now I'm gonna cut up my filet here. Now, normally when you cook meat, you want to let it rest. Got it. Now, this is a key thing because it keeps all the juices in. And since we're cooking it twice, you don't really have to worry about get the meat getting cold because you're recooking it. 
So we're just going to give it one, two, three. We're going to cut it now. Oh, wow. That's so. it. Three seconds. Well, I'm being quick because I, I want to, I'm kind of hungry. Okay. Uh, so now don't worry since it's kind of raw on the inside. Because we're going to cook it again. Because we're going to cook it again. If you could lay those on there. Yeah. Now, last time you told me to lay them on as though I was tucking in a cat. A, ki a kitten. Yeah. This one a kitten. Because kittens, kittens are even more gentle. Give it a try. Oh. See? Wow. It plays really tender. Yeah. There's a reason why it's the best cut of meat. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to put on some blue cheese. This really goes with our steakhouse flavors of mushroom mm -hmm. and filet. Since I like extra cheese, I'm going to add some of this finishing cheese. What is this type of this cheese? This is really like a Parmesan Reggiano, just a really crusty cheese. Now, maybe a little bit more expensive, but mm -hmm. you're really going to use it very often. And you're really going to How long find, does this last? I mean, it's cheese. It don't really go bad. Oh, it doesn't go bad? Cheese doesn't go bad? Not really. I have left cheese in my fridge for well, a while. Well, you know, long... it doesn't really, it, it gains a flavor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, so, believe, I believe you. All right, I should so not now, doubt you. Okay, wow. So now we're going to put it in our 500 degree oven. Now, if you have a pizza stone, you want to put it on a pizza stone. Why? Because pizza stone just gives it, it a flavor? It or? gets it more crunchy on the bottom. Mm. It gives you better texture, better That's one cooking. thing a lot of people liked with the pizzas. Yeah, was they, the were like crunch. The, the really bottom crunch. of the crust was yeah. what gave it that. So now we're going to open it up. There it is. Oh. Now we're going to slide it down to our pizza stone and close it up. Now we're just gonna leave it in there for like three or four minutes. That's it. A few moments later. All right, so now we're gonna cut it. Okay. So we go for it. Now if you look, you can see that our blue cheese is really melted. Mm. And that's really, really good. Makes it even more delicious. So I yeah, just go. Nice. See that one's got a little bit of everything. That's kind of yeah. the best piece right here. This okay. piece is the piece that I would take. You see, it's got the bacon, the blue cheese, the mushroom, and the filet. You should try the one with the bacon. Okay. Go for the one with the bacon. You're going to let me try the one with the bacon? Yeah, well, you know, I can always make this again at home. <laughs> Whole bite mm. of filet goes in. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! Everything from the crust, yeah. with the flavors on top, with see? the mixture of the blue cheese, this. Let's check it. Chefs hardly ever use sound. Mm -hmm. So like if you tap the bottom, it should make that nice, I mean, nice sound. Mm. It smells good. Yeah. Saw the cheese pull. That's what you want. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, really taste your flavor combos, put them on your $5 pizza. Just take that $10 and just invest it. Yeah. It'll come back to you when you're eating it. Just really have a fun time with it. That's really what a lot of cooking boils down to, is having a good time. Right. And uh, I well, guess that's kind of a wrap. Yeah. yeah. I've had a great time with you. Go check out the video we did on my yeah. channel where we made these pizzas and took them to a farmer's market and we teased people and made them think that it was gourmet because it is gourmet, man. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see ya.